Well, this is the dub lady, and I'm just in my room today. It's a nice, beautiful Sunday, and I'm looking at the orb pictures that I've taken, some real close up inside. And the colors are just so pretty. Sometimes I see the little circle areas being in the same place each time when the picture changes it's another one with the circle in the same place it seems odd to me now that circle thing looks like what i see uh, as an atom because i've seen pictures that scientists have taken of the atom and it's just a little circle like that with maybe what looks like concentric circles around it. I, I used these pictures when I was reading something and I wasn't holding my camera too good because I was too busy looking at what I was reading and holding it with one hand. And I didn't get all this as good as I wanted to get it. All these colors of these different orbs that you're going to see go by. I've got it on pan and zoom. And I wanted to do the colors over again really concentrating on holding the camera exactly right. I'm going to be looking for me something that holds a cell phone so that I can be free with my hands to do other things than hold the phone making the video. This is just an enjoyment of color. They look kind of like clouds. And there's the little star-like thing. I started seeing that, and it showed up in about the next three pictures, that little star thing in the middle there, up kind of high. It's kind of yellowish there. And it's right by the little circle thing. And there's to the right of the little circle thing. And there's below it. I'm uh, just now noticing all this is the, the top, the right, the, and below it. I think this is the last one it showed up in, though. This will be a short video.
think what I want to title it. Moving through the colors of the orb. Maybe that's what I'll say. Oh, my dog. Oh, my little dog. You better mess those up. <laughs> Go, baby. Go. Out of here. Messing up my video. Go. Get it. Well, you barked. Now get out. Get the door for and she didn't go out. Little dogs, if they hear a noise anywhere, they've got to go investigate it. Now she's back up on my bed. I guess she got satisfied that it wasn't anything she needed to investigate. But that little baby dog of mine, she's a little one-eyed sit shoe, sit <laughs> And, uh, she just got one eye because one of her eyes was taken out by a sticker when we were given her by our neighbor who said we could have her because she kept coming over to our house. She had such long shaggy hair and a sticker was right close to her eye. They didn't even know because it didn't take her to get her groomed or her hair cut. And that sticker had put her eye out. Anyway, we took her right away to get her groomed and her hair cut. And she stays with me all through the day. She sleeps with me at night, most nights, but some nights she prefers not to. And she'll go sleep with somebody else in the house. <laughs> I'm just as glad, you know. Sometimes I don't need to, I don't need her in the bed with me because I'm thrashing around trying to get comfortable, and I'm always worried that I'm making her nervous with my all my movement. Oh, everybody's got to talk right now in the hallway. That's where it is when you go to film a video. But I'm just about done with these pictures. They're, they're about to be all done with. <laughs> I see you, baby. You got those ears open, lifted up, because you're listening for every sound you can hear. Nobody in this household ever looks at any video I make. <laughs> it's so funny. I think it's funny because I think these are darn interesting. But I'm not going to get the big head because nobody appreciates them around me. But I am happy to get comments from people who look at my videos. They appreciate these uh, orbs. Or whatever they are, photons of light, I, atoms, I don't know. Sometimes I've called it aqueous substance. And the etheric, or what is in empty space, or just anything. I'm just, I've called it many things. But I think it is the invisible that is more real than the visible. The invisible 
that all visible things come forth from. But the visible things that come forth, like me and you and all, every object you see around you, are illusion. They're not real. This is real. I think. But that's just, you know, my opinion. It's a strange world. Full of color. It's as it, it is as if God had an artist's palette with all the colors to make things with. And textures and all kinds of stuff. Well then, this is his palette of color that is the reality of the unreality that we are. Now it's quietened down a little bit in the house and the dog's not barking. She's just waiting to hear something else so And that one's pretty, I like that one. But you can see I have artifacts that are things that just stay in a certain place in the picture and they always look pretty much similar. And I guess they're stuck in my camera. That's all I can figure out. And the thing about them that's so odd is that, and there's Harry, is that they look like some of the things that I'm filming in the orbs, my artifacts do. And they're very strange. Sometimes I think, well, you just have to live with no explanations given for the experiences you have. And of course you're going to put the only experience I mean, the only explanation that resonates with you, you're going to put that interpretation on what you see until someone gives you a better idea that you think might be more believable. But for me, this little character, I call him Harry. He's a light creature. I think that's what he is. He always looks the same. And uh, he's... When I... Don't see him, I call for him, and he usually shows up. But I don't get any other kind of conversation going. Just, are you there? Show up. I'm sure this information, it, I mean, this light is information. And I wish I could understand the kind of language it speaks. I got Harry over and over and over on this particular day that I was taking these pictures. It's like he wanted his picture made. But I have other things that, other than Harry, that kind of, for a while, will, will be in all my pictures. One I call the patch, one I call the donut. And eventually they quit being there. They just go away. And, but while they're there, they move into the view of whatever I'm looking at. I see them coming to the side or up from the bottom. You know, they just, it's like things in this kind of dimension of light can move about. I think there is intelligence in this. It's just that I don't understand it. And I don't know anybody else who does either. But I know that it's not bugs and it's not dust. And see all those little circles? They may be what John Hagelin is talking about when he says the universe percolates rubber bands. Well, I see a lot of them. They look like little rubber bands. I don't know why he says that. Something, I guess, that he's discovered. You never really get to talk to anyone you'd like to talk to. Because if they're important and they're popular, they're busy. And they don't have time to answer all their emails or pay any attention to you at all. <laughs> and it's probably not their fault. If I ever got popular, I, I wouldn't be able to answer every email either. 
And I wouldn't like it that I couldn't, but that would maybe happen. I don't think I'm going to get that popular, though. <laughs> but the orbs should get popular. I mean, they're spectacular. They're beautiful. And I'm showing you still shots, but when I'm filming these, all these colors are morphing inside the orb. Sometimes I don't even get the color that I saw before I click uh, before I click the picture because by the time I do, it's changed. And it might even be better than what I saw or maybe not the same thing and I was hoping it would be the same color I was hoping to get. Carry again, that's just a little shadowy bit of him. He didn't show up too well there. Well, I'm not going to make this a very long video, so I'm going to end it right about here. So, this is the Dove Lady, over and out for now.